hi guys welcome back to my channel I am so happy to have you guys back in today's video I will be showing you how you can create this Dollar Tree holiday glam center piece you do not want to miss out it's super affordable and super easy to create please stay tuned and watch how I assemble this beautiful masterpiece also if you like what you see Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to comment your thoughts below. Don't forget to thumbs up and share this video with a friend. Also, don't forget to join my Elegant Creators Academy for free, where you can explore our guide to learn how I build YouTube, guides for Amazon, Facebook, Etsy, DIYs, how to market your business and brands online, and more. Every month, we add a new guide to help you grow your business. You can preview the videos of the guides. Check the Academy link in the description to join for free. To start off, I'm going to take my Dollar Tree picture frame. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the labeling that's on it. Take my floor wire and take out all the little hooks that's in the back of the frame. I'm going to repeat the same process for all of my frames. Next, I'm going to take my go-to glue and my hot glue and connect all of my eight by 10 frames together horizontally to get it to shape like a cube. This step I'm just going to take my candlesticks add go to glue to the bottom and go ahead and place it at the bottom of my bowl for this DIY project you're going to need two spray paint the two I'm gonna be using today is my gold spray paint and my rust-oleum white spray paint I'm gonna use it to spray paint these little cute pumpkins white cute things about this little pumpkin you can attach and detach the stem of the pumpkin I'm going to spray paint my dry eraser board white so I can get rid of the green borders. Now that I'm done spray painting my perfectly put together frames gold, I'm gonna go ahead and take my dry eraser board and hot glue it to the bottom of my frames to create a base. Now on to the fun part. In this part, I'm just going to be glittering up all my pumpkins. You can choose to glitter up however much pumpkins you like. I find it better when you spray paint your pumpkin the color that you would like first before you add the glitter so that you can get an amazing finish with the glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the fine glitter first and then after I'm done adding the fine glitter, uh, once it's done drying, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more Mod Podge and continue with using the thicker size glass glitter. And I only add the glass glitters to the top part of my pumpkin and once you're done you just let it dry and then you just proceed with all your other pumpkin repeating the same process if you'd like as well you can spray paint the stems of your pumpkin gold or you could spray paint it any color that you'd like but i did not add any glitters to the stem of my pumpkin i just left it as is these beautiful little leaves did not come with the pumpkin i purchased it separately at michael's for 40 cents all the items fall items right now at michael are 80 percent off on sale next i'm going to take my hot glue to attach my leaves 
and they look absolutely stunning. This part is completely optional. You can choose to spray paint your leaves gold before adding your glitter or any color that you want if you do not want the orange color to show. To get my pumpkin to stay in my floor arrangement, I'm just going to take a stem from one of my flowers, stick it at the bottom of my foam pumpkin. You can use any other object that you see fit to use to stick your pumpkin through. Next, I'm going to take my Dollar Tree candle holder to hot glue my foam on top. What I'm going to go ahead and do is add hot glue to the bottom where the hole is. I'm also going to go ahead and add some go-to glue to the bottom of my candlestick and stick it through the hole. As you can see, I had a little bit of an accident while I was trying to put my bowl and my candlestick through the hole. My candle plate broke, which is fine. I was able to replace it with another Dollar Tree small plate that I had on hand. The reason why I created the bowl centerpiece in the middle is because I really wanted to add some flickering candles and I also wanted to add some pine cones into the bowl. So you have the different options on what you would like to add to your bowl. Comment your thoughts below and let me know if you like the idea. To create the roofing for my centerpiece, I'm going to take my 5x7 Dollar Tree frame. I'm going to hot glue them together vertically. This part is completely optional and all I'm just doing here is taking two of my glitter leaves to glue them together. These cute little metallic balls, I found it in the flower section of Michael's. And I purchased them. I thought they were really cute to embellish my leaves with. Right now, like I've mentioned before, Michael's does have all of their flowers and fall items between 60 to 80% off. Finally, once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and take my roof that I created. I'm going to use my hot glue. You can also use your go-to glue as well to glue the roof to the top part of your centerpiece. What are your thoughts of the final result? Would you try something like this? Comment your thoughts in the comment section below.